God, I look rough. So I've actually got the 40 150 on. I'm at 150 and I want to get myself in the frame with as much of the viaduct as I could. So the camera is here and this is where the, this is where I've manually focused to, to get me in a decent composition. It's used my backside probably covered in awesome bloody cow crap. So this is how far it is. Phone's there doing a time lapse but I need to get a bit of good up because it's all on the wong. So I should be in focus now. And the camera's way over there. I hope this is bloody working. <laughs> anyway. So it's around it's ten to four. Sun is setting in about an hour and twenty minutes. It's a good good time to go yet. Now I walked past the pub. I thought I'll get a few shots <clears throat> before sunset. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'll do a quick vlog. Walk down the ways up to the pub. Have a quick lemonade. Because it's not going to get dank for another probably two or three plus hours yet. And what I'm looking to do is to get closer to the viaduct. I've got my flash. I was going to illuminate the insides of the arches. Or at least a couple of them because there are one, two, there are about 15. So that'll take about three hours to do. So I might do get in close and do a couple of them. This is probably one of the first places I came to when I got my first camera, which was a Nikon D3000, and I love that camera. Gear porn, gear envy, gas, it got the better of me, and I quickly upgraded to a, another camera, and the rest, as they say, is history. But it's a lovely place, it would be great. The sun's going to get us. The sun's setting behind me, over that way, so it's going to really, really light up the side of it, or it would do if there wasn't. See, I can't work out whether there are clouds there or not because the clouds and the sky are the same colour. I don't think there were that many clouds, so it might be, it might be on again. And if it's, if I get a good sunset tonight, I'm going to be happy as a pig in the proverbial. Because it will really illuminate that. And getting, a, getting the composition is not easy. I've taken it square on, which looks a bit awkward. If you go too far across, you lose any of the arches, so you can't see through them and you lose depth by doing that way. If you get further on this way, you kind of lose the leading effect of the viaduct. Train just been passed. Diesel train or electric, because it wasn't electric, yeah. Diesel train, because it wasn't puffing any, any smoke. Came here a while ago, and the Flying Scotsman was supposed to go past, but it was replaced by another one. We went to a different viaduct just over the way, and I got a half decent shot so it's a it's, it's gonna go an hour and a half yet what i'm gonna do i'm gonna finish this vlog go to the pub get some refreshments come back here when it gets a bit dark and get a bit closer in i'll change lens to the wider one and i'm gonna go for some not minimal abstract kind of photographs quite high contrast with the flash the flash should bring out a lot of detail in the stonework of which there is bucket loads there's no real foreground interest around here if i'm honest i've managed to find a clump of well it could be a boulder covered in very very vivid moss so i've managed to use that but it's not the best foreground interest again as i've said before foreground interest has to be interesting it's warmed up a lot which is fantastic there's some nice clouds in the sky yep so i'll finish off here i'll mooch on down there under the viaduct to the pub. I've actually stopped in that pub overnight a while ago to get a shot of sunset and sunrise here. Not a bad pub, not a bad bed, cheap as chips, highly recommended. So 
I'm going to walk back to the camera. I'll probably be out of focus because I think it's on manual focus here. So if I start to go a bit blurry, you know how I feel. <laughs> oh God. If I'd have put the extender on, 1.4 extender, I'd have had to put the tripod on the bloody road up there. I hope this has worked. Well, catch you soon. See ya. Good evening. Well, I haven't fallen since I arrived on Thursday. Nothing's gone wrong. Superb. I have to go back to my car to get something from the boot. I was just walking up the road, tripped, went flying, straight in the pub, through the door, ended up at the bar. How the hell did that happen? Shocking. Like a shandy, I must add. I keep thinking there's some colour on the underside of the... Uh, I don't, but I think it's rust. It's looking average, if I'm honest. It's looking average. I can't see any real light from the sun setting because there's much less cloud. So I'm not going to get any colour, I don't think. Last light, well, sun's due to set in. Let me have a look. Climb through 15 layers to get to my watch. The sun's... Ugh. The sun's due to set in, but it'll set by the time I get the watch out. The sun's due to set in 16 minutes. Last light is about an hour after that. So I've got about an hour and 20 minutes. It's not gonna be easy, I have to say, to stay here for that length of time because I'm shattered. But I want to because I want to get a shot, a specific shot, as I mentioned before, nice and close. Probably put the Samyang 40mm on, get it nice and close and get my flash out and illuminate the underside of the arches. Two things I forgot to bring. One's the gels for the flashes and my waterproof coat. I can do without the waterproof jacket because it ain't rain, but I really wish I'd have brought the gels. I could have put the gels on and line painted the underside of the viaduct with various different colours, red, greens, blues, oranges, etc, which I think would have looked a bit special. So at the moment I'm going to have to rely on just flash white light. But if it works, and I think it will, something the next time I come. It's very strange how there's boatloads of snow up there and none here. So it's getting dark as you can see. I hope you can still see me because I'm not sure how to cheat, how to set the cam, how to set the, the, the camera. Oh, I'm not sure how to set the movie function to adjust for dropping light and what you can do. Massive bank of cloud, not too bad. As you can see, the cloud above my head is a bit naff. I've got a 0.6 hard grad on. Um, I suspect I'm going to be a bit too dark, so it's a case of waiting now. I've got an hour to wait. I've just had some fluid, so I'm good to go. As the sun's setting, strangely enough, the colours are starting to pop more. The underside, which I believe is rust, and some of the supporting support things. The greens are starting to pop as well. It's either that or I'm getting fatigued. Quick story. When Jack and I retire, we're looking to rent out the house, use our mortgage to buy a motorhome, travel around the United Kingdom, mainly Scotland, Europe and the world. Whether we get to the world is a different, different question. But if I carry on, if, if I behave then as I, as I behave now, I'll last probably three days before I fall over and die. Must learn to slow down. But I can't. The feeling of being here, oh, I'm off, I'm off, bear with me. The feeling of being here is something that only photographers can appreciate. It's that moment, that, that anticipation, anticipation, yeah. 
it's that moment of anticipation, expectation that you're going to get a glorious sunset. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. There's a few walkers yonder, but there's nobody here. I can hear the cars going by. Don't mind it. I've got the breeze on my face. I can get the smells. I can get the tastes. That could be the side of the. Uh, that could be the Lago Jandy. And there's nobody here. The only noise I can hear really is me blabbing on. But it's a fantastic feeling, being in the moment and being here, not rushing round, taking your time. And I've come to realise over time that if I go back and I get one good shot, one keeper, I am absolutely ecstatic. And if I'm honest, if I go back and I get no, slight tinge of disappointment, but I'm not that fussed, if I'm honest. Being here is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So I shall pop back to my camera, I won't sit down because it's wet, I'll just wait. <laughs>